Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the Photography Master Class. Uh, it's a program that teaches people how to use a DSLR camera. Uh, most people have these new cameras, but they just don't know how to use them right. Once you learn how to use them, you'll be able to take amazing pictures uh, of landscapes and of people. Um, it really is amazing what you can do with these types of cameras when you know what you're doing. Um, so before we get to uh, too far in here and before we give you a better look at this program, just wanted to point out that just below this video in the description box, you're going to find a link that will bring you right over to this program. Uh, if you want to go over, take a look, and go through the uh, page over there, you'll find a link right in the description. You can click on that. It will bring you right over to their website. Uh, but right now, let's take an uh, in-depth look at the uh, Photography Master Class. Okay, so you just got your DSLR, or maybe you're thinking about getting one, or maybe you've had one for a while, but still maybe having trouble taking high-quality images consistently. I was in the exact same spot you were several years ago when I got my DSLR, and I didn't know what the settings were. I didn't know how to take a picture. <laughs> I made all the mistakes that everyone makes when they're trying to figure things out on their own. So if you were like me, chances are your pictures are out of focus, they're blurry, they don't have the correct white balance, they're not composed properly, the exposure is probably off, they're not colorful enough, or you're just taking pictures of really boring things that no one wants to look at. Now, I was in that exact same place years ago, but after years of experimentation, years of looking into forms, reading books, and watching YouTube videos, I finally have figured out the best and fastest way to fix all of those problems that people go through in the beginning. You could do the same thing I did, where you spend years upon years experimenting, but the problem with that is that it's not systemized enough. Sure, if you learn on your own, you'll learn things here and there, but you're not going to learn the most relevant, important information all at once in one go. And that's why I've compiled the best essential core information about photography into this online video course. You're going to get a huge jump start at photography in general. You see, most courses, they'll only teach you a fragment of what you need to know and leave out the rest. They don't cover the big picture. Some courses will teach you how to use your physical DSLR, but they won't teach you about composition. Other courses will teach you about post-production, but they won't teach you about light. But in this course, everything is contained in a big picture format so you can get a big picture idea of what is going on and what makes a good picture. The course is divided up into four modules. The first module is just all about mastering your DSLR camera. I'll show you how to pick up your DSLR and understand what all the buttons are on your camera so you can have the confidence to know what settings you need to adjust when you're taking pictures of a certain subject in a certain situation. So in this module I'll be going over things like the aperture, shutter speed, ISO, exposure, focusing modes, metering modes, the white balance, all that good stuff is all in module one. So after completing module one, you'll have a complete understanding of your physical DSLR camera, and then you will be able to move on to module two, which is all about photography equipment. Now a DSLR camera body is technically photography equipment and I do compare and contrast different types of DSLRs so you can get a feel about if you're if you're thinking about getting a DSLR then this module will help you as well but I'll also be comparing and contrasting different types of lenses when you would want to use certain lenses in certain situations and when wouldn't you I'll be reviewing different types of filters that you can put on the lenses to get certain effects and I'll also be doing a thorough review of all the lighting equipment that I use just to give you an idea of the industry standard of what you can have in your kit to get good images. Plus on top of that, I'm also going to include a 50 page equipment guide PDF. Within this document, I review and recommend different things for different people. So cameras, lenses, filters, tripods, strap systems, cleaning systems, storage systems. 
All that stuff will be in the ebook with recommendations tailored toward you. And then after that's all done, we'll move on to module three, which is all about composition. Now when you're holding your DSLR in your hands and you're looking through the viewfinder, it's all nice and dandy that you know what all the settings do and everything, but if you don't have the photographer's eye, then you're not going to know what to look for to take interesting pictures in an interesting way. So in order to guarantee that you're going to be taking pictures, you're really just going to want to know about the universal principles that all good photographers use and have always been using throughout all time. And these principles aren't going away anytime soon. When you show people your photographs, they're actually going to be drawn into the photograph and not repelled by it. They're not going to pass over it because it's something boring. They're going to want to keep looking at it because it's so interesting. You'll know the best times of day to take your pictures, how to position your subjects within the frame, and you'll also know all about how to light up a portrait and what type of lighting to use to get a certain mood. And then, of course, after that, we'll be going on to Module 4, which is just all about post-production. You'll learn how to edit your photos on the computer by using the Adobe software. I'll be using both Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Photoshop. After watching this module, your photos will be brighter, sharper, more vivid, and dynamic, and they will just be perfected like a strawberry sundae with a red cherry on top. Yeah, well, we're back. I hope you enjoyed uh, <clears throat> that inside look at the program here. If you're interested in checking it out, you'll find a link down in the description box. Uh, click that link. It'll bring you over to their website. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, give us a thumbs up down uh, just below this video. Give us a thumbs up on this. And please feel free to share this on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.